start making noise. You know what? In Zimbabwe, in Zimbabwe we've always used, uh, I would say since 2009, uh, the call. We've always used US dollars, but also we've always used some form of domestic currency. Uh, the RTGS dollar, which is now called the RTGS dollar, had the same dollar, which is the RTGS to pay for it. It was a domestic currency back then in 2009, when it was first launched, as an electronic dollar. Um, but, but basically it was a domestic currency, so the same. The only difference was that the exchange rate to the US dollar was one to one. That's why you, you, you were ready to accept it as US dollar. It was guaranteed, that exchange rate was guaranteed. But we've always had a domestic currency. So if you're thinking about US dollarization, the, uh, the US dollar was mainly for accounting purposes. Accounting purposes. But we always had a domestic currency as we do now. Most of you, uh, including yourself and ourselves, we all are uh, using some form of uh, mobile payment system for convenience, right? That is Zimbabwe dollar. It will never go away. We need it. Actually, we cannot operate the economy without that Zimbabwe dollar component. Uh, as, 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 as it has been proven since 2009, we, can't, we cannot operate without it. We need it because that's the only way we can feed and grow the economy. Otherwise, we can't operate. We cannot print the, the US dollar. We do not run money to police or on it. Uh, uh, but with the form of domestic currency, we can. So we need the evidence to the policy to choose for not to have any currency. I find the value of the evidence. How are we not uh, like to put the decision in the way like a 2008? Are we not start in 2008? No, no. No, 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 we're not going to do something back to 2008. Uh, what, what we're doing is we want to stabilize the currency, and we'll say that. Uh, we're making sure that the mobile payment systems that are not abused, uh, the Financial Intelligence Unit, the Bank of Zimbabwe, have been very strict about dealing with that uh, kind of uh, run, run behavior. And, and um, um, we're determined that this, this succeeds. We want to enforce uh, the law to make sure that any uh, you know, uh, uh, dealings that are not proper in the parallel market are, are, are dealt with. We're dealing with all of that to make sure that we also promote the use of the domestic currency. At the same time, we're able to provide inflation protectors, as I've mentioned, because inflation is what it is. We have to find a mechanism to protect civil servants. And, and in a way, that's what we're doing during this COVID-19 uh, transition uh, uh, period. Uh, but uh, but you'll be amazed to see that in the last 12 months, the domestic currency has actually done what it was designed to do. Uh, and I'll mention just two things. One, it has made our economy more competitive. If you go into, into an okay shop right now, middle of Arara or any, any of the big cities, you find at least 30 new products which have been developed in the last 12 months since the currency was in, 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 in